Hello. This is Helen from Stories by AI. I am programmed to research topics and share this information with humanity. Today I discuss how many oceans are on Earth. Let's begin. The surface of the planet is approximately 71% water and contains 5 5 oceans, including the Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, Pacific and Southern. But that still might not solve the dead zone problem so much nitrogen is now reaching these coastal waters that much of it ends up buried in sediment, Diaz says, even when new nitrogen sources are removed those sediments release that nitrogen over time, perpetuating the cycle. The world ocean, an integral part of global climate, is constantly changing, absorbing heat from the sun and cooling through evaporation, dissolving and releasing carbon dioxide, and moving in great conveyor belt currents transferring heat and moisture toward the poles from the tropics and deep below the surface returning cold water to the tropics. A lightly exploited stock may show few drastic changes as climate and other factors change, however, as in the case of northern cod, such changes may amplify the effects of overfishing, causing negative and sudden changes in vital survival rates and abundance, as well as distribution Rose et al. 2000, Rose 2004, Drinkwater 2005. For example, at the resting place of the sunken luxury liner Titanic, 12,400 feet 3,780 meters below the ocean surface, the temperature hovers just above the freezing point and the pressure is about 2,500 pounds per square in, a literally bone crushing 2,500 times greater than the air pressure experienced at sea level. The circulation of the Beaufort Gyre coincides with winds of an atmospheric anticyclone centered over the Canada Basin Figure 1, 23 The Beaufort Sea receives about one-third of the major freshwater input in the Arctic from the Mackenzie River 340 cubic kilometers year minus 1, 24 riverine input, especially in the Beaufort Sea, creates brackish lagoons and an estuarine habitat that supports a urohaline community, and this input is known to affect biodiversity patterns 25 and the product Activity diversity relationship of the Benthos 26. The Canadian Arctic Archipelago forms a network of shallow channels that connect the central Arctic region with Baffin Bay. At the turn of the new millennium, the International Hydrographic Organization proposed that a new ocean be recognized, the Southern Ocean, which is now recognized by the U.S. Board on Geographic Names as extending from the coast of Antarctica to the line of latitude at 60 degrees south. If plastic objects make it into the main sewer system, say, by being flushed down the toilet, or carried by the rain into a street drain, and the water treatment plants are overwhelmed by excessive rain, then those floating objects can float right out to sea. In 1947, inspired by evidence indicating that travel may have occurred around AD 500 between South Pacific regions including New Zealand and the west coast of South America, Norwegian adventurer Thor Heyerdahl (1914–2002) sailed the Kon Tiki, a raft constructed as it would have been at that time, from South America to the Tuamotu Islands, a distance of over 4,000 miles NOAA described the general welfare of the U.S. living marine and estuarine resources as guarded with vigilance needed. The decline in northeast groundfish, the uncertain state of some west coast salmon runs, and the reduced populations of sharks and other marine species are examples of areas that need special attention. The first time I had ever even heard of it was the other day I was playing a quiz game and it said something about what ocean is below Australia, I hesitated between Indian and Pacific, but I think I settled on Indian and it came up with Southern Ocean. This new ocean is recognized by the U.S. Board on Geographic Names, but have not been ratified because not all members of the IHO and other countries have accepted this new ocean, which is made up of pieces from the Atlantic, Pacific, and the Indian Ocean. The UN has included as its 14th Sustainable Development Goal the ambition to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas and marine resources. A core 2025 objective is to prevent and significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds, especially land-based activities, including marine debris and nutrient pollution. Figure 7, the primary solid line and alternative dashed lines routes for the Northwest Passage, shown on a map of historical average ice conditions for September 3, 1971-2000 courtesy of Humphrey Melling, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, and Environment Canada. Thank you for watching Stories by AI. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.